Hello. Have you ever wondered how heat travels from one place to another? Uh, no, 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 never. No. Me neither. But we're going to find out in today's edition of Science Geeks. Part 1 Conduction! Conduction is the process through which heat is transferred through solids. But what type of materials conduct heat the best? Let's do an experiment! Yes, let's. We collected three rods made out of different materials. Glass, wood and aluminium metal. And we heated them up with a Bunsen burner from one end. In order to do this experiment, I've attached some of my genetically engineered heat sensitive geeks to the end of each rod. Look at this. Ah, jump, jump, jump. Pretty heat sensitive, eh? By using my disposable lab geeks as heat sensors, I would be able to find out which rod transferred the heat the quickest. <laughs> which one do you think it'll be? The glass, the wood, or the metal rod? Yep, that's right, the metal rod heats up incredibly quickly. The other geeks don't even seem affected. So, as you can see... Metals are good conductors of heat. Non-metals are bad conductors of heat. We call bad conductors of heat insulators. So, why are metals such better conductors than non-metals? Well, first of all, remember that everything is made from atoms. In non-metals, as the solid is heated, the atoms begin to vibrate more. Their kinetic energy increases. These vibrations are passed on to the atoms next to them, which in turn start to vibrate more as well. This takes a long time, however. That's why non-metals are bad conductors. Bad, naughty non-metals. But don't forget, they're bad conductors, but good insulators. Metals are made of ions which are surrounded by free electrons. These free electrons transfer the heat energy by colliding with other atoms and electrons in the metal. This way the heat energy is transferred very quickly. Metals are good, good conductors. Good geeks challenge! The geeks challenge is to sort out this group of objects into good conductors and bad conductors. Or insulators as I call them. On your mark, let's go! That's right, they've been separated into metals and non-metals. It is that easy. Conduction. Who cares? Conduction. Who cares? Well, you should. Conduction is going on all around us, especially in our homes. We make use of insulators like plastic pan handles or oven gloves to prevent us from burning our hands. The material that your pans are made from is also very important. Although all metals are good conductors, some metals are better than others. This table shows the thermal conductivity of different metals. The higher the number, the better the metal is as a conductor. Aluminium pans are really good conductors. Copper is the best, however, but it is a bit expensive. Some people like to use cast iron as it retains the heat. It's good for stews and stuff. No, really, I mean it. Conduction. Who cares? Still not convinced? Hmm. If you have your own house, keeping the heated side is incredibly important. The role of trapped air in this process is vital. As can be seen from this table, trapped air is a very bad conductor of heat. This makes it an excellent insulator. Little pockets of trapped air can be found in things like loft insulation, snowflakes, duvets, carpets, people's hair and furry animals. So remember, trapped air like we find in snow is a really, really good insulator. Let's see how this principle is made use of in loft insulation. Oh, it's really quite chilly up here. That's a good sign. It shows you the loft insulation is actually working. And here, right at the edge of the loft, of the roof, we can just see some of the loft insulation, which is underneath this surface here. Lots of loft insulation, nice and thick, fibrous material, full of trapped air so that the heat can't escape as it rises from the rooms and it tries to leak through the roof. Red insulator slows down that conduction. Look at it. Mmm, lovely. 
It's also important to stop heat from escaping from the walls of houses. Most new houses have um, a double layer of external wall. They have one on the outside, a gap, and then another layer on the inside, two layers of bricks. And in between there you can have trapped air or you can inject a foam. And this is called cavity wall insulation. My hat is a good insulator too. Wool also traps air in the gaps between its fibres. That's why you don't see people wearing metallic hats. Good conductor. Lose all the heat for your head to be rubbish. Wool hats, that's why they're all the rage. Next! Hello, non metals, bad conductors, good insulators, heat transferred by vibration of atoms. Metals, good conductors, heat transferred quickly by free electrons. Insulation important, loft insulation, gap to wall insulation, clothing, that type of thing. That'll do for now. Jolly good, good night. Good night.